हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल डेव ऑफ स्विच है टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट हाउ टू इंस्टॉल टॉम कैट ऑन ओबन टू मशीन व्हिच इज रनिंग इनसाइड ऑरेकल वर्चुअल बॉक्स यू माइट बी थिंकिंग इंस्टॉलिंग अ टॉम कैट इज अ इजी थिंग बट हियर वी विल बी लर्निंग इंस्टॉल अ टॉम कैट इन ऑरेकल वीएम एंड देन ब्राउजिंग इट आउटसाइड फ्रॉम द विंडोज बॉक्स because when you are working on something it will be like uh, in devops field many things comes into the linux so when you start working on linux you have to browse the, uh, those and also you might have to check the connectivity what we will do in this video we will install the tomcat on ubuntu box which i had spinned up in my last video using oracle virtual box and ubuntu image i'll install tomcat and i'll browse it from outside for that we will have to do some network changes okay so first go to the go to your oracle vm click on your vm and start it once you start you will see the ubuntu okay here open the terminal either you can right click on here open in terminal or you can click on these buttons type terminal and terminal will come so the next command will be sudo apt update sudo apt update is done let's fire the next command tomcat to work we need java java is mandatory so next command will be sudo apt install default hyphen jdk this will install java in my ubuntu box you can see it is downloading open jdk 11 it will take couple of minutes to download and install jdk we are almost done as you can see java has been installed let's check whether java is working or not clear the screen yeah you can see jdk 11.0.18 is installed okay next command is to check the tomcat package and install it sudo apt cache search tomcat sudo apt install tomcat 9 tomcat hyphen admin you can install any tomcat whether it is 9 or uh, uh, 10 command will be tomcat 9 hyphen admin you can install any tomcat whether it is tomcat 9 tomcat 10 or whatever is the latest i am installing tomcat 9 tomcat is installed let's check whether tomcat is up and running or not ps hyphen ef grep hyphen i tomcat you can see tomcat is running yeah let's browse it in my local machine local machine means in ubuntu itself give a local host colon 8080 you can see i am able to browse the default port for tomcat is 8080 so i am able to browse a tomcat in ubuntu machine itself but if i give the ip address of this machine and browse try browsing it from the my windows box where i have installed this then it will not work for that fire the command if config looks like if config is not installed i have to install that let's install that also
fire if config now if config is working if you see the one IP is localhost loopback and another IP is 10.0.2.15 okay I'll take this IP 0.2.15 8080 it's not working right it will not work now what you have to do is so for browsing it from the outside you have to do some network setting for doing network setting if you click on the top devices network network settings okay you can see NAT is enabled adapter to nothing it is allowing me to edit okay so it will allow me to add it only when I shut down this machine so what you do is go into the right hand side on the top where you see the battery and the sound button click on this click on power off power off this machine so Ubuntu is shut down now you see the now you have come to the Oracle virtual box manager okay click on this go to the settings go to the network one NAT is enabled second one enable network adapter click on that attached you have to attach bridge adapter okay bridge adapter will enable the networking between your laptop or your windows machine to the oracle vm ubuntu okay rest other information keep as it is okay click on ok one more setting which I will tell you go to the settings again okay go to the general okay click on advanced drag and drop click on bidirectional previously it was disabled so that's why whatever you have copied or the command or the thing you have copied in your windows it will not, not get copied into the uh, Ubuntu now click OK that was the additional setting not needed for network changes or for you to browse the Tomcat once you do those not touch changes, click on start. Now my virtual VM is getting started. Open the terminal again. Make it large do ps hyphen ef pipe it grep tomcat tomcat is still running okay now we have to get the ip of this as if config okay now you can see three things are coming last time we tried with this now it has given me new ip this note down this and go to your windows box and paste the ip 10. 177.127 now you can see you are able to browse your tomcat from your windows box okay if you want to open um, management or the admin console for that you have to click these links okay if you click this it is asking you the username and password but the username and password you do not know you have to do this setup for getting the username and password how you will be able to do that if you see where is the configuration file var lib tomcat 9 cd to conf tomcat users dot xml sudo cat tomcat users dot xml you see this is the file this is the location of your configuration file and tomcat hyphen users dot xml file is there you have to add your username there username and password and you will be able to browse it from outside I'll give the configuration sample configuration detail in the description you can copy same and paste into this file 
and restart the tomcat tomcat restart command will be service tomcat 9 status okay this is for giving the status command now for restart it will be tomcat 9 restart it is asking password restart it you can see six seconds ago so this is all about installing the Tomcat on Ubuntu VirtualBox and browsing it from outside uh, VirtualBox in Windows using the bridge network setup. I hope this will be helpful for your setup. Thank you for watching this video.